ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann with your afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Wednesday, day two of January 2008. Frigid is the word. Let's go to some Skycam shots this afternoon. A pure Arctic air mass in place. And you know, I heard a rumor. It was so cold this morning that Vulcan had his hands in his pockets. That's cold. Uh, Birmingham sitting around the freezing mark here at uh, mid-afternoon. Sky clear as the Iron Man looks over the city on this cold January day. And, you know, I thought we'd check the Gulf Coast down there. That looks so nice. But uh, at mid-afternoon, 38 degrees on the Alabama Gulf Coast. The dew point was 9. How many times do you see single-digit dew points in the Alabama Gulf Coast? That is rare. And up on Mount Cheaha, they're having a hard time getting out of the teens this afternoon. Coldest day we've had here uh, in terms of daytime temperatures in about three years. And tonight should be the coldest night in about four years. Look at the trough over the east, ridge over the west. The gates to the Yukon are open. At the surface, the surface high representing the center of the air mass is uh, near Tulsa. That is a 1,049 millibar high. Moving in our direction, you can still see a few uh, snow showers up there in northeastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky, back up into West Virginia. Had a few flurries in uh, northeast Alabama last night. And there are the numbers. Uh, readings around zero at mid-afternoon on the Canadian border. Uh, readings are in the teens into Kentucky. And uh, down here in Alabama, we've got 20s and 30s. And these are actually taken at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now, this air is cold and bone dry. And even with southerly winds returning, we don't expect any rain through the weekend. This is valid through uh, Monday morning of next week, Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And again, look out there in the Sierra Nevadas. Wow. How about uh, 120 inches of snow, huh? That's a snowstorm. Uh, and huge rainfall amounts likely all the way from uh, Los Angeles up through San Francisco, Oakland, Portland, and Seattle. Going to be, a, I guess, a... A great time for the skiers out west, but a nightmare for the travelers. Well, let's go through the model output. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at one, uh, noon tomorrow, uh, noon Thursday at 500 millibars. The uh, trough is moving off the Atlantic coast, but now remember, that surface high is going to be sitting right on top of us tomorrow morning, that big 1,040 millibar high. So uh, it's going to be a radiational cooling morning, and what can you say? We're going to see a huge spread. Probably as cold as 8 degrees for the valleys of northeast Alabama. Maybe mid-20s on the ridgetops up in the inversion layer. Sounds like a cop-out, but longtime weather observers know that's the way it is. We'll forecast an average low of 16 tomorrow morning. That'll be our coldest night since uh, February of 2004. Here's a look at Friday. Now, understand that surface high is still going to be pretty close to us Friday morning, so we're talking 20 degrees early Friday with teens for the valleys. So remember, a hard freeze tonight, a hard freeze tomorrow night. Now, Saturday will start to warm up. We should be up in the 50s on Saturday as a southerly wind kicks in. And on Sunday, low 60s perhaps. And again, we stay dry. And again, out west, things are wild and wet and snowy in the mountains out there. We'll go to Monday of next week, and there's your western trough. And we've got a ridge pumping up here, so uh, it should be up relatively mild. We'll be up in the 60s on Monday. There's the surface chart. The uh, surface low Monday is developing on the Lee of the Rockies. We'll go to Tuesday, and how that thing comes out will determine how much rain we get the middle of next week. Again, that's Tuesday, and uh, still the rain primarily west of here. And then Wednesday, the GFS definitely trending toward a stronger solution with the trough. Uh, there's the surface chart Wednesday, and that would suggest some pretty active storms perhaps. And uh, you talk about a sharp drop. If this is right, you'll go from probably... 60 in Birmingham with thunderstorms to 30 in Memphis with snow falling. And we could see some flurries on the back side of that thing. So the, the model trending now toward Wednesday of next week is the next good chance of rain. That would suggest rain amounts of over one inch here, if that's right. Now, for the snow lovers, got something for you. Let's go to January 13th. Now, remember, this is deep in voodoo land, which means there's little skill in a specific forecast. We're just peeking out here. Big trough rolling through. Where's that surface low? Well, by golly, it's over Greenville, South Carolina. And that would suggest a nice snow for North Alabama. But, yep, 
it will probably be gone. But uh, now having said that, we've seen this. We saw this on the 18Z run yesterday. So it's not like this is a total outlier here. And with this kind of air in place over the continent, who knows? I'm not saying it won't happen, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Let's uh, let's get that middle of the week thing out of the way next week, and then we'll focus on that. And finally, at the end of the cycle on the 18th, the model uh, puts the trough back out west, and the cold air stays up north. We warm up at this point, but again, a lot of water under the bridge before we get there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, as always, that's alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, the uh, next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.